America. Gonna do something a little bit different for this video that does not involve the yard. It actually involves this right here, this stuff. Gonna do something here. Now, why, you might ask? Well, it's simple. I just didn't, I didn't like those. So I'm gonna put something different in there. Let's talk about that for a minute. Yes, I could turn to the Google gods, do some searching and figure out what would be best to plant back there. But I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I'm gonna pop over to my local nursery, get their opinions, see what kind of options they got and go from there. So I didn't get a whole lot of B-roll at the nursery because in my experience taking a big camera like this, it, uh, it raises some eyebrows. So I just used my cell phone and then just got busy talking to the people there and picking their brains about what I should get to replace the shrubs that I took out. And here's what I'm doing. I'm doing some Jubilation Gardenias. I got three of those that I'm gonna put back into that bed and uh, we'll go from there. So. Let's get to transplanting these bad boys and we're gonna use some 002, 402 and a little bit of RGS, but I'll get to that in a minute. So this is the layout that I'm thinking. I don't wanna plant directly into where those old shrubs were just in case I left some of the roots in there. I don't want them competing with each other. So I'm going uh, gonna do two on the outside here, one in the back there. And then I plan on in the future, not today, I wanna see how these are gonna grow. They said they should get about three to four feet tall, but I wanna let them establish themselves and grow and just kinda see what I'm working with here before I get anything else to plant around it. I might go ahead and do the research and just see how far out I can plant things around these. I, I don't know. We'll get there. But this is what I want to focus on today. These are going to be my main focal points for this little area right here. These again are Jubilation Gardenias. They should get about three to four feet tall, three to four feet wide, and they can they do really well in full sun. That's what they were telling me at the nursery. So this is what I'm going with. We're going to dig our holes and plant them. First hole dug. So when you're digging your holes for your plants or your shrubs, flowers, whatever it is you're putting in your landscaping, rule of thumb, you wanna go about two times the depth, two times the width of the pot that you're putting it in. So that's what I've done here. Gone about two times the width of the pot that it came in and about two times as deep. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backfill my hole, not with the good old Georgia dirt that came out of it, but with some of this gardening topsoil that I bought from the gardening store. I'll backfill it until I get the plant to about the height that I want it, and then I'll go from there. Mm. 
So I've backfilled with my top soil. I've got it to about the height that I want. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 002 microgreen, I'm gonna mix up a gallon of that, and I'm gonna paint this hole right here black. So I'm gonna paint that topsoil that I just put in and the hole black with the 002. Make sure that we just kind of gently break this apart so those roots can start to grow out. Just gonna gently take it and pull it apart like that. You're not gonna just yank it all out and break it all apart. Just kind of tug at it just to loosen up all those roots. So now I'm gonna backfill the rest of the hole with the dirt that I took out. We'll kind of just stop that dirt down, make sure it's nice and tight, create a little berm around it, and then we're gonna give it another little drink of some goodies. And for my next trick, I'm gonna mix up the 402 floor green. I'm gonna do about three or four ounces of this. I'm gonna splash in about an ounce of RGS in two gallons of water, and I'm gonna pour that out over what I just planted. So I've got my jug halfway filled up. This is a two gallon sprinkling can. Got a gallon of water in it. Now I'm gonna add in four ounces of my floor green, and then I'm gonna put in an ounce of my RGS. A little bit of spillage, it happens. Add in the RGS, add in the floor green, top it off with another gallon of water. We have our two gallon solution, and there is the secret sauce. All right, so that's one down, two more to go. And there we go. All three are transplanted and given the goody juice. I gave them an ounce of 002, four ounces of 402, and an ounce of RGS. So let's recap real quick what we did. I dug the holes twice as wide and twice as deep as the pots that they came in, backfilled them with the organic topsoil that I bought from the gardening store, then I painted that black with the 002, I did a gallon of water, an ounce of 002, then I transplanted the gardenias into the places that I wanted them, broke up the root balls to just make sure that those roots get out and into the soil and searching for goodies and then I backfilled them with the dirt that I took out of the holes. I made myself a little berm, and then I watered them with two gallons of solution. I did two gallons of water, four ounces of 402, and an ounce of RGS. And I just generously watered around the plant, put it in the center of the plant to water it down to get some foliar application going on there. And yeah. They're set, they're ready to go. I'm excited to see how these things are gonna pop. The plan is to water these every day for about a week to two weeks. And every time I do water them with about a gallon of water, I'm gonna put in an ounce of 402 and an ounce of 002. So every time I go to water these daily for about two weeks, ounce of 402, ounce of 002, and about a gallon of water. And there you go, that's it. That's how you transplant flowers into a new garden bed using the 402, 002, and the RGS. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna let these mature a little bit, let them start to grow up and see how they're gonna grow before I start adding new plants and flowers and all that kind of stuff in there. But I don't know, maybe I'll just skip that and I'll just research how far apart I can plant stuff to them. So I know they're gonna get about three to four feet wide, so we'll see. I'm excited. This was actually, this was, this was fun. It's fun getting in the dirt. I plan on making a more in-depth video on the 402, so 
it's that's that's coming hang in there what other questions do you have for me you know the routine drop those in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer those you can email those over to me my email address is in the description box below hit the thumbs up if you like the video share it out subscribe to the channel hit the bell to get the notifications when i upload new videos all that social media goodness keep on keeping on my long hair and gardening brothers and sisters from other misters and i will catch you next time